forecast for parts of Europe on Sunday. So let's get you the details because this may affect you where you live. Yeah. Pedram Javahari. Pedram, what's going on? Yeah, Western Europe, you know, certainly a different story in Eastern Europe. Temperatures in the mid and upper 20s. It is a far cry from that near record temperatures. But out west, classic storm system setup. There is the center circulation across the Bay of Biscay. Very linear front setting up across portions of the Mediterranean. And what all this spells is severe winds up to 100 kilometers per hour. A very, very heavy rainfall across eastern portions of France on into portions of the English Channel into, say, Wales. And the latest check, winter weather radar. Now, check your calendar. It's almost May. Winter weather radar is showing snowfall at this hour around Brecon Beacons National Park across southern Wales. So that's certainly uh, going to surprise some folks out there with very cold air in place. But again, it is a different story out east where we're seeing clear skies and also warm temperatures. But how about the past seven days across the U.K.? Water certainly prevalent and a lot of it, nearly 70 millimeters. That's over 140% of the average rainfall for this time of year across the UK. And certainly with all the weather in the area, breezy conditions flying out of Heathrow. Keep it in mind, 30 to 45 minute delays in your forecast on Sunday. And how about the active weather? Look at this, right along the Baltics there, working your way to the eastern portion of Europe. Severe weather, tornadoes possible. Now, isolated chance for this, but a lot of folks think, oh, tornadoes across Europe, not very common. Quite the contrary, 25 to 35 per year across portions of the uh, Baltic region there and get into the UK, 40 to 50 per year. That's actually the highest density of, uh, density of tornadoes for any region on Earth based on the area. So certainly because of the small size of the area, uh, we do get a lot of twisters in this region. Actually had two reports that this past week caused some damage across that area. But uh, quickly, I wanted to leave you on a very interesting note. Photographs uh, just coming in from the Srinagar Leh Highway. This is in India. I'm taking you some 3,500 meters above sea level or about 11,000 feet high. Talk about not for the faint of heart. Look at this highway just opened up by the officials. We had a lot of snow in that area. We had uh, trapped folks in the past couple of months. Well, the officials finally have cleared the roads. And Colleen, they're open for business. Would you take this uh, approach up there? How about a horseback ride across uh, uh, that you know, region? I would take a horse before I would drive a vehicle across that, <laughs> let me tell you that, Pedro. I, I'm with you on that. I think it's a little safer. They, they've Certainly their four legs give you a little better traction, perhaps. Slow and steady, <laughs> yeah. I hope. I didn't know that about the Baltics, by the way. 25 to 35. Yeah, uh, tornadoes. Tornado -like for, for the small Amazing. region it is, it's certainly yeah. a lot of tornadoes. Yeah. Interesting stuff there all around. Pedro Javahari, our meteorologist, thank you so much. This is an interesting story.